I quite like steampunk. I've met some great people through it. I had absolutely no knowledge of what it was, but they're just such a nice bunch of people. Uh, top hats, bowler hats, um, some goggles. Got to have a good pair of goggles if you're into steampunk. Uh, the noise you can hear behind me is the gallopers, so something built by the Victorians, which they love, with, operated by tongues of cogs. Cogs seem to feature heavily in steampunk. You can buy some from the stalls behind me. And there's also tea drooling, so that's uh, for the uninitiated. You can dip your malted milk, your rich tea, your pink wafer biscuit into a cup of tea uh, and see whether you've the nerve to hold it still before yours or your opponent's biscuit topples over back into the tea and that's always popular. <laughs> I think what Bressingham has though is um, the mix of passion of our volunteers uh, able to show these guys how things work, how you use them. Um, so it's those sort of two passions and pastimes coming together which is the uniqueness of Bressingham. Other museums do it but some aren't mechanical museums. The fact today that we've got um, five steam trains lit and a traction engine it just makes Bressingham, as we all know, that unique place and this is the steampunk world getting to find it.